Measuring distance between two game objects inside a game is a common task. But there are some functions to use to help in this task. We do not need to create anything by ourselves. These are the methods provided by unit vector3.square magnitude, vector3.magnitude, vector3.distance, and math.square. The last one is not to measure uh, vectors, but we can use to measure distance because distance is a number. But what is the difference between them? When to use them? Let's see each one. I first create a class called distance, that is a mono behavior and attaches the, to the camera. I create two vectors here, the vector A and the vector B. For now we are just using the vector A and the distance that we use in the, f in the end because we are making some example. I'm using the start method as a context menu so I can call it without the playing the game and I create the start method. Inside it, let's play with the squared magnitude. That is a vector 3 dot squared magnitude. Let's see what that happens and let's apply it to the vector A. I put the distance script inside the camera and I call the vector A as a 2, 2, 2 and 2 in all the entries. So I call the start method that we create in the create menu in the create context menu and here we have, we have 12 as the magnitude of the vector a because the vector a the square magnitude is making the 2 power of 2 plus 2 power of 2 plus 2 power of 2 is 4 8 12 he is using this function here so that is the same as making the vector a magnitude is power of 2. So vector 3 dot mag s s square magnitude is the same as the magnitude of the vector a power of the 2. Now let us see the vector a magnitude, what that means. I will put all the entries of the vector A equals 1 to be more easy to make the count. And here we can see that it gives us the 1.732051. This is the same as the root of 3. because the vector 3 magnitude gives us the magnitude of the vector and the magnitude the magnitude of 3 is root of 3 the magnitude of the vector 1 1 1 is is the root of 3 mathematically mathematically we have that vector 3 square magnitude that is that equation here is the same here so we use the math is squared and that will give us the distance the magnitude of the vector now let's see what means to use the ma the math dot squared we are applying it with the vector a dot squared magnitude that we calculated before in the first example The vector A is 1, 1, 1 in all entries and call it, we, can, we have the 1.732061. This is the same result as before because they are calculating the same thing as I told here in this equation. This equation is the same as this one. All we did here was to use, to calculate the magnitude or the power of two the, of the magnitude of a vector but when calling the distance we can imagine that vector a when calculating distance we can imagine that the vector a is the position of the object and vector b is a position of other object and the distance between the two objects is the subtraction of that 
two objects so we can use that three functions here to calculate that distance exactly but unit has the uh, vector dot a uh, vector three dot distance two to help us to calculate the distance between two vectors so here i'm using the vector three dot distance vector a to vector b let's see the result In the first case, we, have, <laughs> we see that is zero because vector A and vector B are equal. So the distance between them is, is and zero. Let's make it two, two and two in all entries of the vector A. And now we see that is the square root of three again. Because when we subtract to calculate the distance between vector A and vector B, we have the 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, and 2 minus 1, minus 1 in all the entries. This is equals to 3, and the square root of 3 is 1.1720 in 61, as we see before. But as I told you, we, we can use the other three methods to calculate the distance too. Here I am using the square magnitude to calculate this, the distance. So let, let me show you. I'm using the square magnitude together with the math.square. And that is the same as using the vector 3 dot distance. And we calculate like that vector A minus vector B. This, all this <laughs> math is equals to this. Let's see. And as you can see, the, re the results are the same. This using the distance and this using the square magnitude with the math dot uh, squared function. And I create uh, a script called measure distance. Inside that measure distance, I have two functions, one using the uh, square magnitude and other using the distance. Let, let me show you what is happening here. I create a, a max distance here and give it 5 and, and I'm changing the uh, color of the object A to, to red if the, if the distance between the transform A and transform B are bigger than 5 and if it is less than 5 I'm transforming it to green and I'm putting the in the screen I'm using the square magnitude. The same is happening to using the distance, but the message here is I'm using the vector three dot distance. And in the end, I'm using the on draw gizmos that draw a wire a wire sphere, a green wire sphere around of the transform A. Let's see what happens. Here I have my console window that will pop up the two console logs from the two functions saying that one is using the square magnitude and the other using the distance when the green cube that is the B translation the B transform position and A is the red cube that has the is green sphere around him that is the radius of 5 I will push this green cube inside of the radius and of course the red the, the red cube becomes green and the messages pop up in the console and you and we and as we can see the two messages are is called at the, at the same amount that means that all the two functions are being used as the same so when we need to know the exact distance between two objects in the game, we use the vector three dot distance. But in the other cases, we can use the vector three square magnitude. Looking that practical example, we can see that they work at the same when just comparing distance. This is a good math optimization to your games, since square root is very expensive. Now you know a little more how to calculate distance inside Unity and why it works. Please subscribe to the channel 
and give a like to the video. Doing so, more cool videos can reach you. I'm see you in the next one. Cheers.